All right, hello everyone. So my name is Luis Cervantes. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science. But all right, let's get into this live demo. Okay, before I start, I wanna let you guys know that I'm not gonna be explaining anything. I'm just gonna keep on moving and moving. This is just a really quick, small little demo just to show you guys the concept that I went over in the lecture. So I'm, this is just quick, there are no explanation. If you guys are confused, go back and check the lecture. All right, all right, so let's start off. All right. So first before, okay, so right now I have the robot connected. So as you guys can see, we have like all of all of the values for the sensors, all of and for the motors. So as we know right now, it's at zero. But however, if I turn it, it goes, 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 it goes. Alright. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty much it. Alright. So before we start. Okay, I'm like, okay, I want to be able, I want to reset the degrees, you know? Like, I want them to both be at zero, okay? So, my other one is at port C, okay? So, we're going to reset them so they could be at zero. So, if we start it, you see? It goes to zero. Really, really useful stuff, right? Okay, because this could be kind of really useful because sometimes, you know, you don't want to go exactly 90 because sometimes you just want to be able to actually see the values. So you're like, okay, ooh, like, what are they actually at, you know? And it's better to just kind of know like that. So, all right, let's get started. So now you guys just saw an example. And so now we're going to move. So we're going to actually make it go. And then we're going to make it go clockwise. And we're going to make it go for one rotation. However, since, since right now, this will just go super quick. I'm gonna so I'm gonna slow it down so you guys could actually see it better visually. So I'm gonna go for ten percent speed, and then so if I lift up the robot, you guys are gonna be able to see this wheel turn just one rotation, going in this direction. Okay, so let's start it. So you guys see it did a whole. 360. So as you guys can see right here, it was at zero, but now it did a whole 360, meaning it did one whole rotation. However, now let's suppose I wanted to do two rotations. So make it stop, then we're gonna make upload it again. So as you guys can see right here, 720. Right? So what's 360 plus 360? 720. So as you guys can see. Like, it really does do one whole rotation. So, when it means by one rotation, that means a whole 360. So, if it starts here, it goes all around. Then, all around again. And then, obviously, you know, if I were to make this, you would just be, see a super fast. Like, zoom, zoom, you know? And sometimes, you know, it might even skip a little. Because it's just going so, so fast, you know? So, these robots are not very accurate, as you guys know. So, yeah, in that sense. All right. So, now, let's move on. Okay. So, let's suppose you're like, okay, oh, this is, this is just... Way too much code. Here. This is even better. You could just use one. So as you guys know, okay, so you guys already saw the rotations. Now I'll make it go 90 degrees. Okay. So now let me put it up. And then so remember, keep track of this. This is gonna go to zero. It did it so quick that you guys didn't even see it. However, it did a 90, right? So, we're going to slow it down. We're going to go to 10. Alrighty. righty. 90 degrees. That was it. You know? So, as you guys can see, it actually did 90 degrees. So, when you guys want to, like, if you guys are like, okay, like, what, like, you know? Remember to always reset them to zero so you guys could have kind of like a clear sheet. And you guys could be like, okay, you know? Let me start right now. So as you guys can see, yes, I was able to do what I did with two blocks, just with one block. You know, really, really powerful if you ask me, you know? And then as well, okay, so yes, we're like, okay, what's the difference between speed and just power? All right, we're now, we're gonna see that right now. Okay, so we're gonna use, we're gonna use the run. Okay, so now we're gonna go for, Three rotations, I we're gonna go at fifty. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it up and you should be able to see it.
Okay, so that was 50. Okay, so that was that was 50% speed. So now let's go 50% power. Okay, so now we're gonna upload it again. As you remember, keep track of this, okay? Of A, because it's gonna get reset and then you'll be able to see all of it. And then. So you guys might look at it and be like, it looks like the same. Essentially, it's pretty much almost the same thing. You know, like the speed and the power, like at least for me in my eye and blind eye, I kind of see it the same. However, you know, like it does have difference because it's just how much power is getting sent to the to the motor comparison to how much speed you're you're making it go. So power might be like, you know, if you're like kind of like more heavy, kind of, you know, you might need more power to pull. It's kind of like think about it as a car. You know, the more heavy it is, the more power it needs. However, you know, it's sometimes that doesn't really define how much speed. But speed is just kind of like how many, how many rotations is gonna go, how fast it's gonna go. So <clears throat> think about it as that power and speed are two different things. They might look like the same, but it's not the same. You know, like obviously on the track, it's gonna react a little bit different, but consider that as well. All right, so now that's that's pretty much, and then as well, we have the start mode. Okay, the other one that I wanted to mention to you guys is start motor. So as I mentioned, you guys, you, you guys are gonna be able to see the difference between run and just uh, actually starting it. So as I mentioned before, with the start, with the start motor is telling it nothing to stop. There is nothing telling it, hey, slow down. <laughs> no, it just keeps on going and going and going and going and going and going and going there is nothing telling it to stop nothing so that is why you know like sometimes you kind of wouldn't want that unless you have something that's just constantly to go like you know coming in coming in for example like if you were doing like a little like vacuum or something so that's it you might want it to always be on you know so that's that's where it would come in really good use so as well when you program remember do you want it to go on forever or do you not want it to go on forever and based on that go based on which one you use you know and then everything else is pretty much the same so okay so, so now we're gonna use the the whole position so i'm gonna make it run for three three rotations and i'm gonna make it hold the position and stop okay so like this and then And then we can see there's tension compared to the other one or there isn't this one there's tension you know if i try to turn it it won't turn it's holding the position so as i mentioned before in the video that's all it does it just holds the position so you'll be like okay at what degree it's at it's 180 degrees you know so in that sense it could be very very useful as well like if i were to just do it a float you guys are going to be able to see the difference so I'm gonna put it up again, and then I'll, I'll play it again. And then now, it's still it's still stiff, but it's not it's not it's not the same, you know. Essentially, it's kind of the same thing, but you know, it's it's different. <laughs> so, so that's pretty much that's pretty much all as well. Like the stop motors, I'm sure you guys you guys can figure out what that does. And then just like set the speed, hold the position, the rotations, the speed, the power, the reset degrees counters, the degrees counted, and the speed. So you guys want to see this? I'm gonna demonstrate that in a different demo because right now it's kind of not really relevant to this. So that's pretty much all it is. There's not much to it. That's all. So I hope you guys you guys saw this and just like okay, like got a better idea of how it, everything really works and how it looks. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful because, oh, and as well, remember, so as I mentioned before, all of these sensors are right here in the valley. So if I press the touch, it's turned into one because it's true. The distance, if I move my hand, it goes. And then as well, like the light sensor, the color, so you see, the darker it is. So that's all it is. I hope you guys really enjoyed this that you guys actually learned something and that you guys got a better visual idea of what it really is remember with motors it's only one 
It's only one. One more that you control. Not two, not three, not five, not ten. Only one. Okay? So this isn't used for steering. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and that you guys actually got something out of it. And I hope you guys had fun. Thank you for watching.